Hi, my name is Martin Gadsby of Optimal, and today I'd like to talk to you about the PAT implementation approach. How do I implement PAT in my environment? PAT stands for Process Analytical Technology, or as we call it in our company, the Practical Application of Technology. Let's start off with skills. We well, need process and product subject matter experts, people that understand your product, people that understand your process. You need chemin patricians and people that understand the design of experiments to be able to design the experiments to run the processes. The chemin matricians develop process stroke calibration models that predict your product quality. You need people who can select the right instrument for your process and your product. You need IT, PAT and automation SMEs, people who understand automation, people who understand PAT infrastructure, people who understand about PAT knowledge managers such as our product, CintiQ, and people who can understand the IT infrastructure so that it will be put in place to work in a compliant way with full data integrity. You need to engage with the regulators and your quality folk and we very much encourage you to engage with these very early on. PAT projects can demand more data for quality reasons than for control reasons. There is so much science involved, it is easy to turn this into a long-term project. You need someone who's pragmatic and practical and can help to drive the team along. If you don't have all these folks within your organisation, then work with third parties such as Optimal who can actually help you with PAT deployments. You can deploy a PAT project part-time, but it's likely that it will take a long time to deploy. So if you're on the project full-time or you have a team on the project full-time with the resources to enable you to fund the team to buy the right infrastructure, then you will have success. As a team, you need to select your first project. We suggest that you try to select a project that's perhaps given you problems, maybe you have a lot of wastage, but choose a project whereby it's going to give you real benefits and you can deploy in a reasonable period of time. If you're learning, then pick a more modest project early on and then you can grow on that success and deploy PAT to the greater good throughout your company. If at all possible, start with raw material characterization because your variability starts with raw materials. And if you can get an understanding on how your raw materials affect the process, then you can work systematically through the process, unit operation to unit operation, and gradually deploy PAT holistically throughout the process. You don't have to start there, but it's an area that is seriously worth consideration. The deployment of PAT within your business is going to be a long-term investment, but to the greater good of your business. If you need any assistance with your project, then please do ring Optimal, we'd be delighted to help you.